Today we're going to install the Mad Jack's front seat cover designed for the Club Car DS. To do this, we're going to use safety glasses, a staple puller, a razor knife, cleaning solution, 3 8 by 20 gauge staples, and a long nose pneumatic upholstery staple gun. Now let's get started. To make this install easier, we recommend taking the covers out of the bag and putting them in a clothes dryer for 5 to 10 minutes. This will help take out all the wrinkles and make it easier to wrap. If you don't have a dryer, you can set them out in the sun. First thing we're going to do is remove your front seat cushions. We have the lean back here. We're going to take our cover and lay it out face down on our table. You'll notice on your cover, you have a dip here in the seam and there's no seam on the bottom. The seam is the top side of your cushion. Top side of your cushion is the dip here. And you can also notice that the shapes have a smaller point at the top. You're going to take your back plate cover off. Now you're going to take your cushion and slide it into your front cover. Now we want to take our four corners here and make sure that they're even. You also want to use your seams on your cover and make sure that they line up equally on both sides so that your seat cover isn't twisted. The DS cushion has a really thick lean back. So what I always do is put your first staple in the corner. You press down to press the air out of the foam. That'll give you some extra vinyl to work with. You want to make sure that the seam on the other side of your cushion lines up with the cushion shoulder and put one staple right here in the corner. Now we're gonna to move to the opposite corner and do the same thing. The reason we alternate corners like this is so that our vinyl doesn't get turned and twisted. If you do one side, you may pull it too far over to that side. Now we're gonna do the other two corners. At this point, all we have are our four corners attached. You want to come back and check, make sure that your stitching lines up with the shoulder of your cushion before we move on. If you're not happy with it, take the staple out, pull it again, and reattach. Now we can move on to our seams on the corners here. So your outside seams. You want to do the same thing we did on the corners. Again, check your stitching, press down, pull it, put one staple across the seam like this. When you do the other seam, make sure that the second seam is lining up with the first. Now we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. Now we have all of our outside seams attached. We're going to do the same thing to the two insides on the top and the bottom. When you do the seams on the bottom, because you don't have stitching on the bottom, you want to pull it over the same amount that you have on the outside seams. Now when we do the middle top seams here, when you pull it over, you want to make sure that you don't pull your stitching too far around the top and that you don't leave it too far down on the front side. Now that we have all of our seams attached, we're gonna come out to the middle between each seam and pull it tight and secure it with the staples. So what you wanna do here in these areas is pull the vinyl to match how far you pulled the vinyl where the seams are located. When you get to the bottom corners, you're going to pull the vinyl, make sure your seam along the bottom of the shoulder is nice and even. You'll also see a little vinyl roll here in the corners. What you want to do is pull from the center, put a staple where you pulled from, and then you'll notice two smaller rolls pull up. You're going to do the same thing, pull them from the middle and secure them as well, and that's how you work out that extra fabric. Don't worry about the extra roll here on the back corner. The lean back cover will hide the imperfections.
Now that we have our bottom secured, we can move to the top. We're gonna save the top middle as well as the sides for last. When you pull here, you do not wanna be able to pinch any of the vinyl across the front. If you pinch vinyl, your cover is not tight enough. Now that we have the top and the bottom secured, we're gonna to move to the outside edges. What you wanna do here is pull the middle first, make sure that the seam is along the shoulder, staple the middle, and then we'll work out the two sides. We're just gonna put two to three staples here to hold it. Now we're gonna pull and work out the extra fabric on the sides. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna do the same thing that we did on the sides and pull the top from the middle first and then secure it with three to four staples. When you pull your sides, you just want to keep checking along your seam to make sure it's sitting nice and straight on the cushion. I usually put more staples than needed on the top just because there's so much stress on the material at this point. Now that we have our seat cover secured, you want to flip the cushion back over and check your seams. If you're not happy with the way your seam is sitting on your cushion, simply pull a few of the staples out on the back side and re-tuck. Once you're happy with your seams, you can clean off your cushion and reattach your back seat plate. Moving on to the seat bottom, we're gonna remove our front hinges as well as our hip restraints using a 7 16 socket and retain. Now we can take our plastic trim off of each side of the cover and retain as well. Now we're gonna lay our cushion cover down face first on our table. You'll notice on the cover itself, you have a narrow end of the center and a wide end of the center fabric. We're gonna take our cushion and lay it inside of the cover with the hinges towards the wide side. You want to make sure that all four corners are evenly pulled and that one side is not more than the other. Now you're going to take one corner and use the stitching as a guide and pull the slack over and secure it with a staple. It's okay if you cover up your hinge holes, we'll cut it out later. Now we're going to go to the complete opposite side of the cushion and secure this corner. The reason we're doing this is because if you pull both sides, you may end up with the cover shifted to one side or the other. Again, you wanna pull the fabric over, check the stitching on the back side of the cushion, make sure that the stitching is even with the shoulder, and secure that corner. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other two corners. Now that we have all four corners attached, you wanna double check and make sure that you're happy where your corner stitching lays out over the shoulder. If you're not happy with it, just pull your staple out and pull or release the vinyl a little bit and reattach. Now we're gonna to move to the rear side of the seat. And we're gonna attach the outer two seams to the bottom of the seat cushion. The one thing we wanna look for here is to make sure that your stitching is in a straight line all the way across. The other thing you wanna look for is that both of your seams are evenly spaced from the outside of the cushion. Now we're going to move to the top side. There's no stitching up top, so what we want to do is pull the same amount of fabric as you have on the corner overhanging. Again, we're going to match the seam distances from the outside of the cushion and secure it. You don't have any stitching here in the middle, so you want to use the same amount of overlap that you have on the sides. Secure the centers in between the seams, pull the extra fabric, and again, you want to keep the line straight here on the fabric overhang. Moving into the corner, 
just like we did on the front. If you see any extra fabric rolled up, you want to pull from the center and work out the fabric roll. So I noticed on the corner here that we have some extra fabric bubbled up. I'm going to remove the staple from the backside corner. I'm going to fix this and then I'm going to reattach it. I'm going to move to the other corner. So just like the other side, I have a little bit of a bubble in this corner. I'm going to take the staple out and fix that as well. Now we're going to do the same thing on the front side of the cushion. When you staple the other side here, you want to check and make sure that you can't pinch any loose fabric. If you can, you need to pull this side a little tighter. Before we go any further, I want to cut the vinyl that's covering up the mounting holes for the hinges. Do the same thing to the opposite side here. Now we're ready to do our sides. Just like we did on the lean back, we're going to start at the middle. You want to check your stitching here. Work out any rolled fabric. If you have any vinyl covering up your hip restraint mounting holes, go ahead and trim that out. Same thing on the other side. Now that we have our cover attached, you want to go around and look for any imperfections. If you see something, back out the staples, adjust it, and reattach. We're going to go ahead and reattach our trim put our hip restraints and our hinges back on, and then clean off our vinyl. Now you can reattach your cushions to your Club Car DS.